So I'm Anne Tolley, I'm the Deputy Speaker of Parliament and I led the delegation from the New Zealand Parliament to the IPU in Doha. The IPU is the Interparliamentary Union, it's where parliamentarians from 178 countries get together and talk about issues that affect us as parliaments across the world. And this year's theme was Parliaments as Platforms to Enhance Education for Peace, Security and the rule of law. During our conference at Doha, we took the opportunity to catch up with our like-minded friends, the Canadians, the Australians, the Brits, and a committee we call CANZAC. Uh, the opportunity just to talk about common issues is important to us. 160, 170 countries all sitting together. An unexpected moment was when I went to say hi to the delegation of Qatar, who was sitting in the row behind us and um, one of the delegation members asked me if we do that thing with our nose. And I wasn't quite sure what he meant. I thought he meant something about being smart or, but he said, no, no, you're greeting. And I said, yes, we do the hongi. And he said, well, we do too. And so we ended up doing the hongi. And then from that came a meeting with the uh, Qatarian Friendship Group, which was uh, really beneficial. Uh, we got to speak to one of the four female members of parliament in the Qatarian parliament. So it was a pretty important time for New Zealand to be on that international stage following the tragedies of March the 15th in Christchurch. It was amazing to be a New Zealander, I actually felt very proud to be a New Zealander for the way that our Prime Minister led the response to the, the atrocities uh, and the way that people said uh, we responded with love instead of hate. Just about everyone who spoke at the Assembly took the opportunity of congratulating New Zealand, our current Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, and the whole of the Parliament for the way it had responded to those awful events in Christchurch, my hometown. There were so many countries from all over the world coming to us, um, supporting, expressing their condolences and also applauding New Zealand for the uh, real leadership that we've shown on that issue. I'm the second Vice President of the Women's Bureau of the IPU. I was elected to that at the last IPU Assembly. Uh, and the Women's Bureau is particularly focused on lifting the number of women who uh, take part in our parliaments, the number of women parliamentarians around the country. We're at about 24% of parliamentarians are women. So at 1% growth, we're going to be a long, long time before we get to that 50%. So the Bureau is always looking for ways to increase that number and speed up that percentage increase. I then had the great privilege to uh, represent the Bureau on the executive of the IPU, who meet uh, a day before the IPU starts. And uh, that, was, that was a huge honour, I think, for me, but particularly for New Zealand. The IPU helps parliaments becoming stronger, younger, more diverse and uh, also more gender balanced and uh, it was really enjoyable to sit at the uh, meeting of the Bureau of Women uh, together with Anne Tolley, uh, watching some very um, strong female reps uh, doing their um, speeches. I spend most of my time away from the main plenary working on my human rights committee. There's a specific committee formed within the IPU uh, that addresses human right abuses of elected representatives all around the world. You would be amazed at the amount of abuse that occurs on people who are legitimately elected to Parliament and then are frustrated in doing their job. So we made a lot of progress and then the work we do is reported back to the General Assembly. It is always of interest to all the delegates hearing of the work and the progress that we're making. We had two bilaterals. One was with the Turkish speaker uh, and a number of his MPs. We also met with the Georgian delegation. They are in the process of appointing someone to represent them here in New Zealand. I feel very privileged that I was be able to go on this trip. I learned that uh, many countries have a lot more in common with us than we think and it's actually really easy to establish those relationships. You go up, it's an opportunity to say hi, get talking about your differences but especially your um, similarities. And the other really good thing was there was a selfie machine and uh, people would stand in front of it with their delegation and after a few attempts we got this beautiful thing. It was, as I say, a tremendous privilege to be part of this particular delegation and I'm proud of the way New Zealand's democracy is regarded, respected, 
from all around the world.